Uh, ECMO is generally administered for the patients who has heart failure as well as lung failure. So you can use the ECMO at both condition. It's like either heart or lung failure or both heart and lung failure. How the ECMO is functioning currently is it's more like a tap. So it's constantly supplying the blood to the human body. So we are feeling that that causes several complications for the ECMO patients even during the ECMO administration as well as post ECMO treatment. So we are proposing something new technology of incorporating that pulsatile nature within the ECMO device and evaluate that one uh, from the engineering perspective and I, I am using a technique called particle image velocimetry technique so this is this is one of the technique sophisticated technique uh, which is available here so that you can uh, measure what's happening inside the model whatever the model you are testing so in my case it's like I am using the human iota model so I am just fabricating that one using a silicon and using the particle image velocimetry technique I can able to measure what's the flow which is happening inside the human iota model by changing the different uh, inlet conditions from the ECMO device. I am building the uh, human iota model. So it's like taking a CT scan of the mo uh, from the patient, the human iota and build that model using silicon. So that will be my test models. Whatever the flow patterns which is happening inside, we can able to capture using the camera. So you can use some other uh, materials, but the silicon is more uh, transparent as well as you, you have you, you can get some compliance from the silicons that able to mimic somewhat more realistic when compared to the other materials.